The home-based Eagles will face Benin Republic in the final round of qualifiers for the 2018 African Nations Championships. The West African side this evening advanced to the final round of the qualifiers after defeating Togo 3-2 on aggregate in the return leg of their tie. Benin Republic will host Nigeria in the first leg in Cotonou on August 13th. The return leg will hold at the Sunny Abacha Stadium in Kano a week later. Nigeria Professional Football League leaders Plata United this evening maintained their lead at the top of the table despite a goalless draw away from home to Lobi Stars of Makodi. The Joss based club have now picked 55 points from 31 games played so far. Rivers United are no, now up to 14th from 16th on the league table following an impressive 3 1 against Wiki Torres of Bochi. Shooting Stars of Ibadan recorded their 10th league of the win of the season with a hard fought 1 0 victory against Ayumba International. In other league games, FC Fayumba and Gomba United played 2 0 draw. ABS FC defeated Rangers International 2 0. Kano Pillars also defeated Remo Stars by the same score line. Niger Tornadoes and Abia Warriors played out a goalless draw. Aqua United beat Nasara United 2 0. Teen after golf, America's Jordan Spieth this evening survived a roller coaster final round at the British Open to merge with his third major title, beating fellow American Matt Kutcher by three strokes in a thrilling duel at Royal Birthday. Spieth carded a one under par round of 69 to finish on 12 under for the tournament, but after three days of consistent golf by the American, it was a remarkable day of highs and lows for the 23 year old. Spieth, who won the U.S. Masters and the U.S. Open in 2015, has joined Jack Nicklaus to become one of only two players to win three legs of the career Grand Slam before turning 24. IAAF President Lord Coe says he cannot guarantee next month's World Athletics Championships will be drug-free. Coe maintains that anti-doping efforts have improved massively but feels it is almost impossible to stamp out cheating completely. The champions will mark the end of Jamaican sprint star Usain Bolt's career on the track and Coe admits the sport has a tough job in its hands to make up for his absence. In cycling, Britain's Chris Froome has won the Tour de France for the fourth time as Dylan Gronvergen sprinted to victory in Paris on the 21st and final stage. Gronvergen defeated German André Grippel in a frenetic final sprint on the Champs-Élysées, but the day belonged to 32-year-old Froome. The team Skyrider is now second in the all-time list after completing his third successive victory. Rigoberto Uran was second, 54 seconds behind, with Romain Bardet in third. Away from sports news, the Israeli embassy in the Jordanian capital, Amman, is said to be under attack. Security forces say one Jordanian man was shot to death and one Israeli citizen wounded. He said to be in unstable condition. Authorities have been evacuating embassy staff. The incident comes as tensions continue to rise between Israel and Palestine over security cameras installed at the entrance of a Jerusalem holy site revered by Muslims and Jews. On Friday, thousands of Jordanians protested in Amman over the installation of gadgets. Jordan happens to be the custodian of Muslim religious sites in the country. Police in San Antonio, Texas have found the bodies of eight people believed to be illegal immigrants or migrants smuggled into the United States. The bodies were discovered in a sweltering 18-wheeler trailer found parked behind a Walmart store in the city. It was a very unlikely sight, especially for the city of Antonio. The city has been known to attract immigrants, especially from Mexico. But as crime has risen in Mexico in recent years, a more professional class exodus of Mexican nationals has been observed. 
But in this incident, a security guard for the store was said to have received a tip-off from an unknown individual that a tractor trailer in the store's parking lot was full of immigrants. The temperature in San Antonio is said to have reached 38 degrees Celsius on Saturday and did not dip below 32 degrees Celsius until after 10 p.m. According to the police, the informant had been in the truck and approached the member of staff to ask for water. We arrived on the scene and found uh, eight people dead in the back of that trailer. Uh, there were a number of other people that Chief Hood will talk about who were transported to local hospitals. Um, uh, checking the video from the, from the store, we found that uh, there were a number of vehicles that came in and picked up uh, a lot of the folks that were in that trailer that survived the trip. Police have taken into custody the driver of the vehicle and the victims will be investigated by the Immigration and Customs Enforcement as soon as they have been treated. But they say the driver and anyone else involved in the incident will be facing state and federal charges. Jay Sekulow, a lawyer for U.S. President Donald Trump, says the president's legal team is not looking at ways he could pardon himself as there is nothing to pardon. President Trump had said on Saturday that he had complete power to issue pardons following reports he had asked advisers about the scope of his authority. The Washington Post had earlier this week reported the president had inquired about his ability to pardon himself, family members and aides in connection with special counsel Robert Mueller's investigation into claims Russia interfered in the U.S. election. President Trump had reportedly been infuri infuriated that the inquiry was widened to consider his finances and close family. And the main news again. President Mamadou Buhari today met with governors and leaders of the All Progressives Congress in London. Governor Rochester Krocha of Imo State in a telephone conversation with presidential spokesman Femi Adishino said the president was very delighted to receive the delegation and is optimistic that the president will be back any time soon. Police in Kano State have arrested five Boko Haram suspects, including a dismissed Air, officer, Air Force officer, just as the military announced that its troops killed three female suicide bombers in Borno. That's it on the news at 10 tonight. Thank you for watching. I am Amarachi Ivan. Good night.